The most beautiful debut in WWE history. Well, it might just be. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. Welcome back to the WWE 2K22 GM mode. We're playing as SmackDown. We're into episode 9. We need to sign somebody. We need to make a match in our mid-card slot. And I've decided that we're probably going to go... It needs to be a heel because our roster is completely overrun with faces. I couldn't decide between Robert Roode and Carmella, but it turns out Robert Roode's a bit of a boring bastard, so we're going to go ahead and sign Carmella for five, ten weeks it is, so yeah, ten weeks, she can go at the end of the ten weeks, it's not a big deal, or who knows, maybe we'll keep her around longer, and with that said, we'll just go in, we'll book a one-on-one -on -one match, and it'll be Tony Storm taking on Carmella, boom, that will be the mid-card match on SmackDown, not expecting it to be that good, but we'll see how they get on so let's go into all the show logistics and make sure we've got the highest uh the most important arenas and crew and all that stuff booked to try and get the best outcomes so yeah we want to do all that uh, available after week nine we're almost there available after week nine again we are almost there power cards coast to coast a gm interfeels booked this week will provide an additional plus two show bonus and be and be free to book this week. That's not a bad thing to have, actually. Um, double the cost of an opposing brand's matches for the next week's show. Yeah, I think we're going we're to use that. Why not? We'll use that. We'll try and screw it all. I mean, they're beating us in the reins. We need to try and do something. So let's take some money out of their uh, balance. Uh, ratings, you can see, it's not a massive gap. I mean, we're not losing horribly but we're, we're still behind we're ahead in the money but we're behind in the ratings so but it's still close it still could go either way and i'm pretty confident that we're going to have a good payback so yeah i mean wrestlemania backlash is pretty good and i think we might have a good payback as well but let's get into the show then let's go it's gonna be a big debut tonight for carmella we'll see how she gets on will she defeat tony storm or maybe not will tony storm pick up a win I well, I must need it one to be fair. But here we go: Candice LeRae and Charlotte Flair taking on Nia Jax and Sasha Banks, and it is a win for Sasha Banks and Nia Jax, and it was a good match, three star match. You like to see it. Up next with Otis and Drew McIntyre. There's Drew McIntyre. It goes up to level four. Got Tony Storm and Carmella, and this is the match we're going to play. So uh, yeah, let's get straight into this then. Boom. We'll play as we'll play as Carmella. Mm, yeah, we'll give Car we'll give Carmella the rub. I wouldn't mind robbing Carmella, but we'll give Car we'll try and give Carmella the rub. We'll try and put her over. We'll try and win. We'll see what happens. I probably won't win. I always seem to lose these big games, so uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes here on SmackDown. As we try and claw back the ratings, Raw currently have the lead, but I'm hoping. Not forever. So we're in San Jose, California the night. San Jose. San Jose. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> uh, San Jose. Here's Tony Storm. Scheduled for one fall. One fall to a finish. Who's going to get that fall? Will it be SmackDown's Tony Storm or will it be SmackDown's Carmella? Guess Tony Storm will claim to be a SmackDown original if that is such a thing. Is it? I'm not too sure. No, it's time. The most beautiful woman in WWE, Cody Graves, can mark it at ringside. Here comes his wife. Will it be a beautiful debut, though, for Carmella? That is the question. From Staten Island, New York, and if she does win, does that push her in to a women's championship match against the current champion, Charlotte Flair? 
she wasn't. Best looking. Why are you being a snitch, Michael? Would you take the advice on whiskey from someone who's never had a drink? I don't think so. Gone are the days of moon. Well, we're moments away. We will find out. We are moments away from the referee ringing the bell. And here we go. Tony Storm versus Carmella. Friday Night Smackdown. Not the biggest match we've ever had. Carmella comes out with a drop kick straight away looking to impress you. Like I said, not the biggest match we've ever had. Not a lot on the line. Not a lot at stake. But you always want to win your debut match. So I'm sure Carmella will be going for this. She'll be trying to pick up the W. And it's up to see if she can do that or not. Carmella then fighting back. With some boots to the midsection of Tony Storm. Tony Storm goes to the leg of Carmella. Tony Storm fights back, pushes Carmella away, and Carmella runs and takes Stone Storm with a drop kick. And Carmella then, I get the crowd behind her. Oh, and she just walks into a fucking headbutt. Wasn't expecting we Tony Storm to to throw a big headbutt, but uh, what do you know? Pulls a move at the the move bank. I didn't think she had in it, and then a running knee. Running knee to the face, and that face of Carmella might not be beautiful anymore, but she gets the knees up. She gets the knees up to Tony Storm, goes straight into the cover. Only a one count, though. Tried to put Stone, Tony Storm away there, didn't qu quite happen. Carmella again went on a drop kick. Went for another one, Tony Storm counters, Tony Storm sidesteps the drop kick. And now it's Tony Storm, it's a pearl driver! Holy shit, a pile driver on Carmella. I'm not sure what she was setting up there, but she didn't connect with it. And Tony Storm goes straight into the cover again. I mean, Carmella goes straight into the cover, trying to maybe pick up a quick win here. Trying to get put this one away, and Tony Storm is, came out firing here. And a big knee to the face of Carmella. I mean, Tony Storm showing a side that I don't think we expected, we haven't seen so far. Now she's stomping away that arm. Tony Storm was going for another kick, Carmella again, oh, a big boot to the face, big drop kick that didn't really do much. Going for shots, Tony Storm with the arm drag just throws Carmella across the other side of the ring. And now stomping on that bare hand. Top rope time, I think from Tony Storm. Just waiting for Carmella to get up. Carmella with a sidestep. Carmella, what's she going for? A DDT. Plants. Plants her with a DDT. One. Two. Oh, and she kicks out. And the Carmella looking for the finisher, perhaps. Oh, a big super kick. And will that, do, will that be enough to put Tony Storm away to... No, Tony Storm kicks it again. I don't think Carmella can quite believe it. Maybe again looking for this super kick finisher. Oh, and again she connects. And I think that will surely do it this time. That's two super kicks to the jaw. And then Tony Storm again kicking it. Tony Storm refusing to be beaten here. Like, what is this all about? What do we have to do to win this match? Carmella then getting Storm up, tosses her into the ropes. And what is she going for here? Back elbows by Carmella, just throwing elbows into the face of Tony Storm. Tony Storm fights back though, boot to the midsection. And she, oh, and she nails another pile driver. And this time, Carmella could be in trouble. But again, Carmella with the counter. Carmella with the counter. Oh, and there's a third super kick. A third super kick straight to the head of Tony Storm. Again, Tony Storm. Fucking hell. What is Tony, what is Tony Storm made of? Seriously. It made of steel. Tony Steel, I think we're going to call it from now on. Because we cannot seem to put her away here. Big back elbow. Carmella with the counter. Sends her down again, goes quickly into a cover. 
Try and take a quick advantage, and Tony Storm's not having it. It's Carmella going to the top rope. What's Carmella got in store here? For her opponent. She's on the top. It could be dangerous. Cross body. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. One. Two. Oh, not even a two count. Tony Storm again refusing to be beaten here. What's Carmella going for here? What's she going for here? Oh, sunset flip. Power bomb. And finally Carmella gets the win. Finally Carmella does it. With a sunset. Like a powerbomb sunset flip out of nowhere, really. And Carmella picks up the victory here on her debut. Gets a win over Tony Storm. Was it the most beautiful debut of all time? You tell me. It's a big win, though, for Carmella. Picks up the victory here tonight on Friday Night Smackdown. And it was a mediocre match. So, uh, not to be honest, two stars I don't think is horrible. I think we can work with two stars. I think we can make two stars work. Up next, we've got Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio. Excellent promo. The rivalry grows to three stars now, so we'll keep an eye on that. Here we go then. Main event time. It's Kane and Samoa Joe taking on Reigns and Gable. Who's picking up the victory here? It is a win for Kane and Samoa Joe in a, in a good match. Three stars, so... It wasn't a fantastic show, but we'll see if it was enough to beat Raw. Raw's kicking off with Santos, Escobar and Ivar. Uh, Extreme Rules match. Surely this won't do that good. It, oh, it was good. It was three stars. Damn it. Okay, we could be in a bit of trouble here. Becky Lynch gets called out. Cameron Grimes versus Cena. I'm worried. I am worried. It's John Cena with the win. And it's a three and a half star match. We could be in trouble here. Austin Fury cutting a promo for charity. And now main event time, tables match one on one, Natalia Rhea Ripley. Uh, how much, uh, it's, ah, it's an amazing, okay, we've been beat, we have been beat here. Uh, we matched them with the opener, they destroyed us in the mid card and they beat us in the main event. So even though I thought we put on a good show, Smackdown has lost this week. Kane, was Kane, make Kane making Smackdown look good with the win tonight. Yeah, Kane is looking good here, so it's two matches, two wins for Kane. Raw, we may, we, the show cost them more money, which is good for us, but uh, again, Raw beating us then in the ratings, so not ideal, they get 50,000, so, uh, yeah, we're over 100, what, about 112,000 now behind Raw, we need to start closing that gap, we need to start having a couple of good weeks where we can beat Raw consecutively, one more week then, before payback, so, hey, listen, something's come up and all special matches will cost double this week. I'm told it's some so, some kind of union thing. Sorry about that. You haven't scheduled any championship title fights in a while. They're a useful way to get the audience cheering. Opener and main event matches are particularly good candidates to receive a ratings boost from having a belt on the line. Really? Okay. Um, now. <sighs> okay. The problem is. I want Samoa Joe and Kane are both due title shots against Reigns. But the problem is you can't do a triple threat match. I can't have Reigns fight twice at the pay-per-view. So what we might do is we might have Reigns defend the belt next week. And if he, whoever wins that might defend against the other one. So I don't know who we're going to go against first. Do we go Kane versus Reigns on SmackDown? Then Reigns versus Joe at the pay-per-view? I mean, it's possible. Well, think about it. What's Kalisto? Things aren't working at SmackDown. He's ready to tear up his contract. I'm so uh, but nothing else is going to cut it. And Kalisto's gone. Jeff Hardy wants to team up with Rey Mysterio. Thinks he'd make a good tag team. Yeah, sure, let's see how it works out. I think Jeff and Rey could make a good tag team. So we'll, we'll give them the benefit. We might even put them in a tag team match this week. But to find out, guys, is Jeff Hardy going to be in a tag team match? Check out next time to see how we get on in episode 10, the week before payback. But until then, it's been Fog Wrestling. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this series, leave a like, leave a comment down below. We'll catch you later. But until then, peace.